finally, what's interesting to see when you go back into your funnel view is you not only see the users who have converted, but you can also view those users who have dropped off. You can view these as users, create a cohort or export them as a CSV, or even view these set of users in a flow to understand where they got dropped off. Another useful thing to remember with funnels is that you have certain advanced features that allows you to hold a certain property constant. For example, if you only want to look at Android users, or you only want to look at users who are based, let's say, in a certain region, or if you want to exclude certain users who have done certain actions, you can even choose to visualize the same funnel but with these steps being performed in any order, if that's something that's important to you. And your conversion criteria does not only need to treat every user single entry, but you can look at total attempts to convert within this funnel, as well as the number of sessions that it took the users to convert.